Hello and welcome to video 5 of our course on mobile data collection using the Kobo toolbox. My name is Wilfred Ngwa for the EpiGuider channel. In our last video, we completed designing our questionnaire using the XLS form builder. In this video, I will show you three main things. One, how to set up and use design Kobo forms on Android devices. I am talking about mobile phones and tablets. Two, how to collect data using our design forms online by means of a shared link. And three, how to use your computer as an Android device to set up and use designed Kobo forms. That said, let's get started. I will go ahead and rapidly create a new project using the complete XLS form, which we designed earlier for this project. You can download this XLS form by clicking the link displayed on the video. Here we are with our project. If we click on projects at this point, you would notice three levels to the left. Deployed, Draft and Archived, which function exactly as folders. All your forms that are live and ready for data collection are stored in the deployed folder. As you can guess already, forms that you think are not ready yet for data collection are stored in the draft folder. The archived folder is where you store all finished projects. That is, projects that are no longer used for data collection. Our project at this point is stored in the draft folder. To make a project go live and ready for data collection, click on the project and then on the deploy button. Kobo tells you your form has been deployed and as you can see, our deployed folder becomes updated. Now that our form has been deployed, let's go to our Android device and set it up. The setup process requires internet connection. The first step is to go to Google Play Store, download the Kobo Collect mobile application and have it installed on your mobile device. Once you launch the application on your device, the following startup screen is displayed. To link your mobile device with your server in Kobo, you have to go through the following steps. 1. Click on the three dots on the right-hand corner of your screen. 2. Click on General Settings. 3. Click on Server. On the URL link, replace Kobo Demo User with your username. So I'll type in mine, which is EpiGuider. And then OK. Five, click on username and type in your username. Again, I'll type in EpiGuider, then OK. Lastly, click on password and type in your password. Then OK. At this stage, Click on the back button until you get back to the startup page. Click on Get Blank Forms and Kobo will connect to your server and display all your deployed forms. Select the ones you want to collect data for and click on Get Selected. The selected forms are downloaded from the server to your phone and Kobo tells you that your download results were successful. Click on OK and automatically Kobo takes you to the startup page. To fill in our form, click on Fill Blank Form and select the project you want to collect data for. And there you go, you can start collecting data for your project. Note that once your form is downloaded to your mobile device, you don't need internet connection to collect data. You only require internet connection to upload the data to the server, which makes it perfect for collecting data without internet connection. Looking critically at our deployment page, you will notice the collect data section at the bottom. 
This section permits you to generate and share links with users for them to either fill in information or test your forms and provide feedback. Based on what you want the user to do, Kobo has a list of options which you can go through and select which one is most suitable for you. For example, the view only option which I use most often will allow users to test your form and provide feedback with no data submission allowed. You can click on copy to generate a link which you can share with your users. You can also go ahead and click on open to view on your browser what your users will see once they click on your shared link. It is also possible to collect data with Kobo using your computer just as you would do with Android devices. To do this, you will need to install an Android emulator program to your computer. Simply put, an Android emulator simulates Android devices on your computer, making it work like a phone or tablet. Many of such programs do exist, but for the purpose of this video, we will use Nox Player. To download Nox Player, go to www.bignose.com and click on download to download the setup file. Install the program just as you would do with any other computer program. I already have Nox Player installed on my computer and Kobo downloaded. But I'll go ahead and download ODK which is a similar application to Kobo just to show you how it works. With your Kobo installed, you can go ahead and set it up just as we did earlier. We are at the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something. Remember to subscribe and share so others will benefit as well. See you next week for another exciting video. Ciao.